Well, some experts say the Ford government's decision to close several safe injection sites across the province will create barriers to care. Ford says the sites are the problem. Eric Vano joins us live with more. Eric. Adam, we heard from the premier for the first time today since the decision yesterday to shut down several safe injection sites and introduce a new model. Today, Ford made it very clear that he believes safe injection sites should be gone. This was supposed to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's the worst thing that could ever happen to a community to have one of these safe injection sites uh, in their neighborhood. Ford was in St. Catharines today making an announcement about an investment into Ontario shipyards. But he was asked about concerns surrounding his government's announcement yesterday to close several safe injection sites across the province and transition to other treatment hubs called Homelessness and Addiction Recovery or Heart Hubs. He says safe injection sites are not the answer to homelessness, addiction and mental health issues. I've been getting endless phone calls uh, about needles being in the parks. Uh, needles being by the schools and by the daycare, uh, that's unacceptable. What we believe in these heart hubs is we're putting $378 million into supporting people. The heart hubs add up to 375 supportive housing units in addition to addiction recovery and treatment beds. With this, safe injection sites within 200 meters of schools and child care centers will need to close. One of them is in downtown Hamilton at the Urban Core Community Health Centre on James Street South. We do know that those sites do save lives. Hamilton Mayor Andrea Horvath says she understands the province's approach of closing safe injection sites close to schools and child care centres but she hopes the new model will fill in the blank. The success of that model is going to, I think, be um, determined by uh, the robust, uh, how robust the funding is going to be, uh, as well as their commitment to continue to um, uh, tweak it to make sure we're meeting the needs of the most vulnerable people in our community. The director of the Peter Boris Centre for Addictions Research at St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton says safe injection sites are one piece of the puzzle to address the issue. The reality is there are still very high rates of overdose death um, because of high potency uh, contaminants in the drug supply. So this is certainly going to be a disruption. Hopefully the new so-called heart settings are going to be able to provide some resources to support these individuals, but it's certainly going to, to change the landscape. Today, Premier Ford also criticized the federal government's safe supply projects. He called them, quote, the biggest drug dealer in the entire country. Back to you.